Now, one thing that heals us is communication. When we talk to people, we will be able to heal our hearts and ourselves, especially those who are against us at times, those who've plotted our downfall, maybe people we are doubting or something of that nature. If you can talk to iron out your differences or at least to, to find the grounds upon which you are, it would heal a lot within you. And this is why if you look at the people of the book, the Christians, the Jews and so on, and the belief structure, very similar to Islam, but Allah speaks about how important it is to communicate with them, to have a dialogue, not in order to give up your faith, but in order to understand each other better and explain to each other what exactly we believe. So Allah says in verse number 64 of Surah Ala Imran, قُلْ يَا أَهْلَ الْكِتَابِ تَعَالَوْا إِلَىٰ كَلِمَةٍ سَوَاءٍ بَيْنَنَا وَبَيْنَكُمْ you know, say, O Messenger وسلم, to the people of the book, the Jews, the Christians, that come, come, let us talk about this common word that is between us. We worship our maker alone and none else. The idea here is to commence that communication, to give the message across, to be able to talk, to be able to give them an opportunity to ask, to respond. And the lesson I want to draw from this is it expands also to our relationships with others, be it your spouse, your parents, anyone it is. If Allah is telling you to talk to the people of the book to solve matters, then to talk to others to solve matters is even more important. SubhanAllah. Resolve the matters. Talk to them. Speak. Don't be afraid of talking. What are they going to say? Speak once, twice, three times, have 10 meetings, 20 meetings, try to resolve the matter. Allah will give you healing. If you cannot resolve the matter after that, at least you know I didn't leave any stone unturned.